and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Monkey Prankster. Our next meme tier Monday deck. Honestly, I feel like this is going to be a lot better than our other uh, Neverglade Prankster deck that we played previously, but this one kind of memeing it up we got some monkey idols in here i wanted to find a, a way to play monkey idol you know looking at this card and get some powder monkeys you know i wanted some powder monkeys and and you know it's a one mana two one ephemeral last breath do one to the enemy nexus and the monkey idol you know the round star you deal two to this and summon a, a powder monkey so i was like what are we going to do with this well you know it's it's ephemeral so it's dying and it does one damage to the enemy nexus it seems like that fits pretty well with Phantom Prankster and Neverglade Collector, right? Like both of these, whenever the allies die, do even more damage to the enemy Nexus. Perfect. It is a one cost card. And uh, Jagged Taskmaster, if we plunder, grant one cost allies everywhere, plus one, plus zero. So, you know, it's not, it's not plus one, plus one, but still get that extra power on there. Start, let's turn these monkeys into three ones. Uh, so make it harder for them to block. Um, but you know, like we can do a lot of stuff with this one cost allies everywhere. You know, Elise makes spiderlings, one cost allies, and same with brood awakening, get those spiderlings. Um, of course those, those, uh, monkey idols, we have, uh, Maokai making saplings for us every turn. Whenever we play a creature, more one cost allies, pump those things up. Uh, we have haunted relics creating a bunch of one cost allies, pump those up. Um, Blighted Caretaker, summon two saplings. Let's go. Um, so yeah, so we have we have a lot of cool little things here, and then you know we just have like some other one cost stuff. I feel like this is good. this deck actually may be pretty decent. Um, yeah, Shark Chariots would would kind of be nice. Uh, going with like um, going with Haunted Relic instead, just to have like three bodies that trigger uh, Phantom Prankster. Um, it's it's not going to be like super easy to bring back Shark Chariot, but yeah, we'll see how it works. But you know, if we have like a Prankster or a Neverglade Collector, I feel like these Haunted Relics could be great blockers. That we could just play it even on defense and get three blockers, and they don't want to attack in because they're just going to die at end step anyway. And uh, you know, like that can be really good at at helping us block and have the game go a little bit longer and get uh, some more turns for Prankster and Collector. And yeah, spell mana, easy to work with, um, and everything like that. So yeah, I feel like this deck could be pretty good. Let's uh, give it a try. Monkey Prankster. Seems like a, a good meme deck also. Let's get our Bilgewater. And obviously we need the Powder Monkey. We got any Powder Monkeys in here? No Powder Monkeys. Um, let's go with that one. All right, here we go. Let's go play five games over in ranked. We still play our meme tier Monday decks in ranked, so you can, um, you know, so you can see a good representation of what they would look like on the ranked ladder. All right, we got the Aristocrat, Elise, Monkey Idol. I mean, this is what our deck does. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Where are you? All right, now the the real question is: Do we play Elise or do we go Cursed Keeper, Ravenous Butcher? I think we do Elise. Hey, we got two gifted subs from Santa Kitty Dexterity. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity, Mamba Man TV, and Be Squared joining our sub club we have hit two sub goals today wow that is awesome thanks everybody uh let's see i should update our stream panel basically the reason why that's important is because um whenever we hit 10 total sub goals i do a 12 hour stream to celebrate and since our last 12 hour stream on on saturday we hit a sub goal then and we just hit two more today so we've hit three out of ten so updated that okay um let's not block or block here block here now i kind of want this hmm Please, I have connections. It will all be over. 
All right, block in here. Final answer. Let's get this prankster in play. This is a round start thing. Yep, trigger. All right, let's play the Curse Keeper. And then we'll Ravenous Butcher that. Thorny Toad? Where does that card come from? And now we got new Elise. Yeah, I think this is Karina control, but yeah, you don't you don't usually see Thorny Toad in Karina control. But it looks looks just fine. All right, now we can get our Neverglade Collector and have uh, double these up. Oh man, another prankster also. Gain a life, lose a life. Alright, so I do have to worry about, like, if I play one of these pre-combat, they could just Ruination. And that's really the thing that I'm worried about the most, is Ruination. Yeah, so they're both another. This isn't like this isn't like magic where these things would see everything die and they would trigger. They're just they're dead on like a ruination and they don't trigger. Wow. Burned two progress days. How about that? So I could go Prankster, Butcher, and deal three. Put him down to eight. It's not a great play against Ruination. I could probably just wait. I'll have... It's not like I'm going to run out of mana next turn. Anyway, okay, well maybe we will run out of mana. We can just see what's up. We could use Oh, I played so well against Ruination. Because it was really tempting to play more things, and I didn't do it. Did it 
Go down to seven. Yeah, well this yeah, this isn't Swim's version of Karina Control because you know, there's the Thorny Toad in there. Unless unless Swim has one of those, I don't know. But yeah, usually you see like one or two ruinations. So this will be two things dying, which will be four triggers. And then fifth damage here, so that put him down to seven. Like if they don't have removal, because then at at round start this will die, and then they'll they'll die. So if they don't have removal here, they're dead. Which maybe that means I shouldn't even attack with the collector. I guess because yeah. But all right, monkey prankster. Plus, how sweet is it to have a deck named Monkey Prankster? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Monkey Idol dying triggers that prankster, so that's, yeah, that's nice. All right, we are one and O. Oh. All right, opponent's gonna go deep. We're gonna try to go under him. I want to keep this Taskmaster. Yeah, we're we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep Taskmaster. Okay, there we go. That's better. Hopefully, we can get the Plunder Trigger. So we can do you know turn one, turn two, play Taskmaster on turn three because we want to probably play this on a turn we're not attacking, like turn four we're not attacking so that. When we untap, we get the monkey right away. The chains, they never stop. Did mulligan those ravenous butchers. This would be a nice time to find a ravenous butcher. No blocks. I'm fine with that. This, that could be nice. We'll wait till we have, you know, like a, a Phantom Prankster or, or Neverglade Collector or something like that in play for that. Was pretty good too. Hmm. No, a pranks are gone. <laughs> yeah, sap magic's not the best. Uh, no, we're not. We're not a flip Maokai kind of deck. They're 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 a flip Maokai kind of deck. They're they're like defense flip Maokai mill me out 
I am offense. Use Maokai to get more more things. Three one saplings are nice. Get some two one spiders. We need to go wider. There goes two more devour the depths. No, our second pranks are gone. I mean, they're the cards at the bottom of the library, so they're cards we wouldn't draw. See, like we're not drawing those. Pranksters. Even though I wish we would. All right, never glade collector. What of us. Whoops. Shouldn't have played the aristocrat. In my mind, I was thinking that like, okay, the the monkey idol's dying. We'll have like the room for two things, but of course, the monkey idol's dying, but it's replaced by the powder monkey, so we don't have the room for the two things. This card does not heal your nexus. Mm. I don't like this lifesteal. May need more ways to kill these things. Danger pays. I wish that triggered. Not the right thing to do. But I like it. Keep doing you. So they're gonna level up Maokai. I have learned patience. Oh, the third third prankster's gone also now. Yeah, 
We're about to lose a lot of cards. Their Maokai is going to level up. I have them going down to like one. Ish. All right, they should kill the. If they don't have removal for Prankster, they lose. We will kill them. Come on. Well, that would have been game. I don't think that's game anymore. No, Butcher was not better first than Swain, not at all. The uh, uh, the best play was the ephemeral units attack with everything. Not not play Butcher pre-combat. Play the Ephemeral units, attack with everything, have them block. Post-combat, play Butcher. Because I didn't, I didn't have room for... like It was better to play with all... Like, attack with all those Ephemeral units. We actually leveled up Maokai. So that's pretty cool. And I'm not going to attack and let them one thing die. And they level up Maokai right there. <laughs> uh, these sat if only Maokai had like a useful champion spell and not the worst champion spell that possibly could ever have. And, and I didn't lose because I blocked with the Neverglade Collector, because they, they dealt four damage to my stuff. They would have had the Withering Whale and the Grass of the Undying to kill it. Well, Maokai did the tossing himself, right? Like, you know, he he did like some tossing. But, but yeah, I don't I don't play any toss cards. Um I cannot be broken. Ah. You defile the grove. Well, 
that levels up Maokai. I'm hoping killing this thing, like they have three cards in library. I'm hoping killing this thing, you know, last breath toss two. So now they have one card in library. The problem is they have to have Nautilus, right? Like what happened to Nautilus if they don't have Nautilus? Like where is Nautilus? That's the, like Nautilus is the problem right now. Cuz Nautilus will refill their library so they don't they don't deck out. No, because tossing doesn't doesn't get rid of champions. Tossing is non non champion. So like, where could it possibly go? Oh my gosh, they just don't have Nautilus. Toss two, draw two. They lose. What? Are they just not playing Nautilus? Like where where would it where would it have gone? Oh, oh, my Maokai obliterated it. Right, my Maokai. Because Maokai, right, right, right. So they had to have they had to have the Nautilus in hand. Because my Maokai says obliterate all but four non-champions. So so those last four cards were not champions. So all the rest get obliterated. So the champions get obliterated that are in the library when my Maokai leveled up. I forgot about that. I did forget about that. And uh, and so if they didn't have a Nautilus in hand, whenever my Maokai leveled up, boom. Obliterated. Yeah, so we got the alternate win con. So if they have tons of defense and withering whales and gain a lot of life and I don't get my pranksters and collectors, boom. Alternate win con. All right, well, I feel like I should keep collector, but I kind of don't like the rest of this hand. Right? Like maybe we just mulligan this. Do I keep one Taskmaster also? No. No. Because we, we need to make sure that we find something that we can do. Hello. Want to draw something for this turn? Yay! Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Um, ass. Cool. Precision and grace. My strat is kind of weak to Fiora, I will admit. Fiora just has to kill four things, and if I'm just throwing waves of attackers at them, they kind of get, they can probably find four things. Um, all right, so if I do Maokai, then Maokai, basically, I don't want my board to get too gummed up, because I want to be able to have Collector, Collector, Haunted Relic. So it's either it's either uh, the Maokai or the Monkey Idol, and I kind of feel like this is maybe better for Monkey Idol than being at nine. I guess Monkey Idol is not good against Fiora, but whatever, I don't care. I'm trying to kill them next turn, like my next turn. What? All right, sure. I think they should have challenged the monkey idol. See, let me. I guess we we should do a little bit of math because that's going to be one, and then 
yeah, one then eight. So we have we have nine nine damage next turn. Oh no, it's one less. We have seven damage next turn. Because I don't have room. I mean, well... Okay, that, that works. Oh, this thing this thing actually dealt a damage anyway. And it's that's seven, so yeah. I mean, we're, we're really good. Alright. Why have we never sparred? The outcome was obvious. <laughs> we'll just get in there with the powder monkey. Get him, powder monkey. Get him. Get him, Powder Monkey. Monkey Prankster. Racing Fiora. We had another eight damage there. They were at four. GG's. All right, look at Monkey Prankster. This is this is definitely a lot better of a. Uh, prankster Neverglade deck than the one that we played a few days ago during the 12-hour stream. That deck was not good. This deck's this deck's good. Monkey Idol. Looking good that turn three. <laughs> yeah. Memes can actually be good. Don't let your memes be dreams. Okay, I like this. Do we want to get rid of the idol to look for something to do on turn two? To not try try not to waste turn two. Um. Nah. Nah, that's fine. Not final boss yet. Not final boss yet. We gotta win this one and make it to the final boss. All right, so Karina Control is good at, at against decks that go wide. They also have a lot of life gain. Yeah, had it the whole time. I pulled the had it the whole time. That's fine. That's fine. Just had a two drop. Um, the question is, what three drop to play? The saplings do the most damage, but then we don't get the sapling triggers on the prankster. Um, but still, that could be like six attacking in right now. We could do the monkey, but then... See, we round start next turn monkey. And then next turn we prankster. I think I'm in there for the for the monkey. Maybe we do a monkey. I don't know. Caretaker does a lot of damage this turn. Now nah, let's, let's go. Let's go monkey. chance I should just play Maokai to eat removal. But Prankster is my best card.
19. What's up, Undying? That card could be good. Yeah, I, probably sh I should have just played the Maokai out to look for, um, to try to have Maokai eat a removal spell. Alright, Jagged Little Taskmaster. I'm expecting, I'm expecting Withering Whale for how they just did the three damage to this Maokai. And okay, that thing. And then it's it's worth it just to play this to be a three mana instant speed Maokai that's our that we can use with. Um, that we can use with spell mana. Plunder those. Yeah, they have they have had the answers. <laughs> I tried sure have. I'm sorry. That egg. Did it move? All right, looks like they got us. This is what it takes to hold back Monkey Prankster, though. It takes having everything. If we draw another Maokai, we are gonna have a leveled up Maokai. If we draw another one. Looks like that doesn't matter though. Everyone's a garden. Unfortunate. I guess that was a bad idea. Right, that doesn't have to level up while it's attacking. So this is obviously lethal, they just... Okay, well that makes it... Even more we're dead. Wow. 
I think that was like starting on turn, you know, turn two with the thermogenic beam for my Elise. I think if, if you could, uh, like from our side, you could say, what's the absolute best card they could have? I think turn two through turn ten, they had like the best turn you could have <laughs> every single turn. So they win. You know, that's that's the game. GG's. All right, we're still three and one. All right, what do we got? Basically, if we don't have Prankster or the other card, we don't really need this. And... Maybe get rid of the butcher to start with, because I do want to dig. Like I like I like having like this as like a safety net for turn one, turn three, but I do want to dig and look for prankster and Neverglade. So I didn't block that because I want to kill the Warden's Prey. Oh man, now I want a Taskmaster. <sighs> All right, Taskmaster. If I knew I, you know, if I knew I had a Taskmaster, I would have blocked the one ones. A tribute to the Spider God. The sea beasts of Thera. And imagine us getting a second Taskmaster. That would be great. But still, now these saplings are going to be three ones, so they will be able to challenge and kill Elise. But it looks like they're going to be doing their own Elise challenging. My true beauty is First. The skin. So after attacks, we play Maokai. Hmm. We're all like Maokai Caretaker. That does go like super, super wide. Gotta watch out for that. Fearsome. What well, if they just don't attack? Really wish I would have blocked without Warden's Prey a long time ago. Alright, so I play this. Then we have only two saplings. We only have room for two. Yeah. 
Um, I think that's still just the play. I have learned patience. They will pay for what they did to you. All that matters now is the little ones. That fight. I'm dying. I don't need you. Seriously? That's what we're doing these days? Get wrecked me. So many lost. All right, three and two. That's pretty nice, like, after my combat that they had the Vile Feast plus, you know, with the three mana on, was it, I guess that was turn three, because they had turn two Elise, turn three they had Vile Feast plus Elise's Crawling Sensation uh, to make three things to flip Elise, and then obviously Withering Whale. So that was, that was pretty great. So last two turns, uh, last two games, our opponents had... Awesome, awesome hand. So they beat us. But still, I feel like our, our meme tier Monday deck, pretty good. You know, as, as far as a monkey idol deck, this is probably as good as we can do with Powder Monkey. Um, the thing about... Okay, so I like Maokai in this deck. But I do understand that the, the rest of the deck that I'm playing here, we really can go very wide. And Maokai can be a problem for that. It's not something we're really attacking or blocking with. And so it just also it also kind of clear like clogs up my battlefield with prankster, with collector, of things that aren't attacking and blocking. And I kind of understand that be, that being a problem. I honestly wonder if I, mean, I know it gets us like the the extra creatures and everything like that. I wonder if this would like be a good like twisted fate deck. Like if we you know like Think of like like one of these champ like what else like of these champions, um, you know like the basically the three I'm kind of looking you know like Callista, Misfortune, Twisted Fate, Gangplank you know like like these, um, even Thre I mean I guess Thresh is probably pretty decent here too, um, but you know like I wonder if wonder if like one of these other champions would be better than Maokai, like you know Twisted Fate like having like these different things like if, if they're also wide you know we can red card and it makes it makes it better for our other things if, or if they have like something really big we can stun it. Or we can draw if we need to. Obviously, the misfortune with us with us attacking, getting that trigger in. Um, the gangplank. The, the problem is like the powder kegs. The powder kegs usually die, but just five mana, five five overwhelm could could be good in this kind of deck. Just having a huge overwhelm creature like that actually sounds very enticing. Um, or yeah, maybe maybe it's just sharks instead of Maokai. I guess. The thing is, if, if you take out Maokai, it's going to be a lot harder to attack with the Sharks. Because then you're only looking at, like, two cards that make um, Ephemerals. I feel like you got to have, like, if you keep Maokai, then you can play Shark. But without Maokai, you're not... I guess we have three cards that make Ephemerals. This thing does, too. Um, and then, of course, there's Callista, um, which can bring back stuff and, you know, do all the Callista stuff. There's a lot of other options for, like, there's a lot of good options. Like, these are all, like, none of these are bad cards. Like, these are all, like, good options for this slot. Um, Taskmaster was good. Uh, it was pretty good. We didn't... It wasn't, it wasn't amazing, though. If it gave plus one, plus one, it would be incredible that just the plus one plus zero our things were still dying honestly maybe plus zero plus one would have been better to keep withering whale from killing all my stuff like, honestly plus zero plus one would have been better one more toughness would have yeah that that would have definitely been better so just things to think about things to think about uh maybe some combination of like you know a misfortune a twisted fate a gangplank you know one maokai you know, like we we did see that like multiple maokais were horrible right like sap magic is just a waste of a card 
in our deck. So maybe you play like one Maokai and then, you know, some of these other ones also. You know, maybe you maybe you kind of go that, that route and just uh, switch it up where you don't play three of a single champion. All right, but still very good success here for our meme tier monday deck that's monkey prankster y'all watch it on youtube hit that like button over there and leave a comment let me know what you want me to play next week for meme tier monday and of course you know i always like seeing the comments of what y'all think what it, what y'all think about my decks as well feel free to um you know comment what you think of this monkey idol mon powder monkey prankster deck all right, but uh, that's it here for Monkey Prankster. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.